I kept telling y'all, it's nothing to why this dude, Sean Grayson, got this job. He wasn't them big old Viking looking white boys, one of them tough looking white boys, you know, big strong Brock Lesnar wrestling looking motherfucker, Undertaker look. Hey man, those type of guys are what you call extra privilege. He got the look. So I'm kind of getting annoyed that I have to do this, but as you can clearly see, there is the Viking whitey supremacist tattoo on his partner's arm. It's called a Thor's Mjolnir Vague Visir, and the Thor's hammer is listed on the hate group database website. You can see him rendering aid there, see the tattoo. Um, and so I'm really sick of people trying to spin this narrative that, oh, there was a hero in the room and wanting it to be like this, I don't know, Disney story or something, when it's just there were two YT supremacists that went in the room. Obviously, the other guy, um, we don't know what his motivations are. It could be that he knew his body camera was on. I do feel like when he said, oh, maybe I should render aid, it was a pretty nonchalant way of saying it. So he knew he was being recorded, obviously. He knew it would look bad to not render aid maybe he was shaken up maybe he didn't realize that his partner was really going to follow through with it but they were both white d supremacists so let's just not let's just not he got the right look he a big old white boy he looked tough he'd have been to the to the uh, 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 armed service and he racist if y'all don't believe these police be racist i guarantee you right now if they took every officer i'm just gonna say why the european officers right now and if they were to just go over their tattoos well y'all be surprised what the fuck y'all find they walking around with ripping they shit right in our face that probably be how they get hired 